Hey guys, Jacob with Super Chips here, and I wanted to walk you through the process of installing a flash pack tuner in the 2017 through 2019 Chevy and GMC L5P Duramax. Now this is brand new to the market. We are the first pre-calibrated handheld flash tuner to hit the market for that L5P Duramax. This is part number 2847-DS. Now this process on the L5P does require our ECM send-in process, which will require you to remove the ECM from your vehicle, ship it to us so that we can unlock the ECM, and then we will next day air return that ECM back to you at no cost, uh, so that we can limit your downtime to as little as three days, depending on how quickly you ship that ECM to us. Once the ECM has been unlocked and reinstalled in your truck, you'll be able to install your flash pack tuning. So we want to plug it in to the OBD port and then the device will power up and we have our tune, scan, and info tabs. So to tune this particular vehicle, we're going to start by selecting OK. The device is going to ask that we turn on the ignition without starting the truck. We can then select OK. Now this time we can tune the vehicle with our performance tune and then we can modify some of the adjustments in that tune right then. There's also the quick options tab where we can set up our TPMS sensors, uh, select the RPM idle up, and then we can also command a manual or a mobile DPF regeneration cycle. And then we can also do a transmission relearn with the device. We're gonna go in. We're gonna go in here and tune the vehicle. It's going to establish connections, select tune. Now right now we've got our performance file already loaded in the truck so it's highlighted there. But we can go through and select any of our other tunes. The mileage excess tune was built for daily driving, uh, fuel economy. This tune will add 100 horsepower and 200 foot-pound torque to the tires over stock. We have our tow setting which is for heavy towing. This one adds 75 horsepower and 150 foot-pounds of torque good for towing heavy loads, safe on EGTs, fuel consumption, um, and then we've got our tow performance which is a little hotter tune. This one uh, adds 125 horsepower and 250 foot-pounds of torque and it's great for light towing if you're just doing a four-wheeler trailer, uh, towing your boat to the lake, that sort of thing. And then obviously we've got our all-out performance tune. Now this is the big one. This one will add 150 horsepower to the rear tires, 350 foot-pounds of torque. Like it is a massive gain in performance. Uh, track testing showed that we gained over five miles an hour in a quarter mile. And then we also have proven with uh, some data logging and the track that we have cut our zero to 60 mile an hour times down by 1.2 seconds. So this tune definitely is noticeable from the seat. It is a massive improvement in performance. So let's say we're gonna be doing some heavy towing. So we're gonna install our tow tune. At this point, the tow tune is designed for a vehicle factory towing capacity. Obviously, we don't want you to load the truck down any heavier than what uh, the OE recommends, but we're gonna have a lot more power to use while we're doing that. So we also wanna customize the tune with some of the features built into the flash pack. Now here we can see we can adjust our rev limiter, we can adjust our speed limiter. So this will eliminate your speed limiter. Uh, we can set it to the raised value, which I believe is 200 miles an hour, which obviously you're never gonna meet in a light duty diesel pickup, but it's nice to be able to turn off the factory speed limiter. Um, we can adjust our gear ratio. This is for you guys that have installed big lifts and big tires. If you've changed your actual ring and pinion sets from factory, we can adjust that so that the speedometer reads correctly with that gear ratio change. Same with tire size. This one is very popular for flash pack owners. If you've installed that little bigger tire, your speedometer is going to be off, which means you're going to get a little more speeding tickets than you would like. So the flash pack will allow you to adjust that tire size so our speedometer will read correctly. The one thing to note is that the tire size is going to need to know the actual height of the tire, not what's printed on the side of the tire. So using a tape measure, measure from the ground to the top of the tire, it's very rare that you'll find a tire once mounted and balanced and on the truck will be as tall as it's advertised. So a 35, 12, 50 by 20 is hardly ever 35 inches tall. They're usually around 33 and three quarters or 34 inches. This truck has a 33 inch tire, which measured 32.5. So we're gonna select that value. And then new to the flash pack for this specific application is our keep drive mode. Now with this mode, we can reset on start or we can remember last settings. Now what this means is if we select our remember last settings, for you guys that tow a lot, 
this device will allow you to remember what setting you were in with your exhaust brake, your grade braking, and your tow haul settings on your shifter. So if you're doing a lot of towing and prefer running in your tow haul mode, this device will remember which mode you were in when you shut the vehicle off. So every time you start the truck normally, you would have to engage your tow haul mode. You'd have to reach over and engage your exhaust brake. With flash pack and the remember last setting, it's gonna remember what setting it was in when you turned the ignition off. So when you stop at the fuel station to fill up, when you start the truck back up, it's gonna remember you were in tow haul mode. It's gonna remember you had the exhaust brake function engaged. Um, these features will still work as factory, so you can turn them on and off with your buttons just like anything, but the truck will always remember the last setting it was in when it was shut off. So that is a huge feature for you guys that do a lot of towing. And then the other new feature for Flash Pack is our built-in throttle booster. This allows you to adjust your throttle pedal sensitivity with the device. Now every driver is going to have a different pedal feel that they prefer. Some guys like it to have a little bit more of a lazy feeling. Uh, GM programmed this L5P with a lot of throttle delay um, and a lot of guys that's their biggest complaint with the truck is that it just doesn't feel like it accelerates. You have to give it a lot of throttle pedal before it really starts to do anything. So with Flash Pack you can adjust that from anywhere between stock um, and then in 5% increments all the way up to 50% over stock. Now me personally, I found that I like the 20% or the 25% setting. Gives it a good throttle feel without being too aggressive or too touchy if I'm doing a lot of towing. You know, if you're on a boat dock, backing a trailer down or trying to come back up the boat dock, you know, I don't like it to be too aggressive. Um, obviously, if you're daily driving or want it to be sporty, you can crank that throttle sensitivity up, but we're gonna set this one at 25%. And then we can go in and adjust our idle RPM for park, idle RPM in drive. And then we can go ahead and select continue to install this tune into the truck. So it's building our custom tune file. Now it asks if we want to install the tune file. So we select OK for yes. Now it's going to start preparing the vehicle for the flash. It's going to walk through the process and you'll see how quick this process actually works. You know, for those of you that um, are concerned about not having your switch on the fly tuning, the flash pack actually loads the tunes fairly quickly. So you can switch from your tow tune to your performance tune really in a matter of minutes. Um, this, is, this is not a long process like some of the other vehicles.